there are six persons in a list a b c d e and f they got different marks in an examination some information is given below c got more marks than d but less than b e got more marks than f and f got the least marks among them the one who got the highest marks got 400 marks and the one who got less marks got 60 marks the one who has got highest marks his position in the list is number one and the one who has got less marks his position in the list is number six so these are the only four points given to us based on this data we need to answer the two questions here okay so let's see so basically arrangement of six persons in a straight line right kind of linear arrangement they've got different marks and <coughs> i think they have been arranged based on the marks that they have got right i mean just try and understand the meaning of each of these statements here the first statement says c got more marks than d but less than b so c got more than d but less than b c is less than b e got more marks than f and f got the least marks among them so f has got the least marks and e has got more marks than f e has got greater than f f has got least right i mean if you have to arrange in ascending order you know that the first position will be taken by f then the one who has got the highest marks got 400 marks and the one who has got less marks has got 60 marks now one confusion that i have here uh, the question is to pratik who has posted this one is what do you mean by less marks the one who has got highest marks has got 400 marks and the one who got less marks got 60 marks see obviously in a group of six persons one will get highest i can say that the remaining four have got less marks the remaining five have got less marks so which of these five are you talking to uh, talking about right who got less marks got 60 marks who is that who here anyway let us just keep that aside for a moment let us assume that it is not less but it is least right i think that's what the statement is trying to say right the one who has got highest has got 400 the one who has got least has got 60. then look at the next point the one who has got highest marks his position in the list is number one and the one who has got less marks his position in the list is number six so again uh, uh, you know <coughs> doubt now is now resolved because the last statement very clearly mentions that the one who has got highest marks should be in number one position and the one who has got less marks should be in number six position so less is actually not less it is least here right we are talking about least marks so if you see there are five positions to be filled one uh, six positions to be filled one two three four five six this is number one two three four five and six who will come in the last position the one who has got least marks who will come in the first position the one who has got highest marks so basically we are arranging them in the descending order of their marks right these guys have to be arranged in the descending order of the marks so let's try and do that i think the very first point that we know is f has got least marks i mean easy to start right so if f has got least marks f should come in position number six okay now let's try and do the arrangement for remaining persons right if you see uh, uh, you know between c d and b what will be the sequence c has got greater than d but c has got less than b so if you try and combine these two what happens b has got greater than c who has got greater than d so b c d are in that sequence right b greater than c greater than d uh, e has got more than f and f has got least e has got more than f f has got least the one who has got highest marks has got 400 so whoever comes in position number one has got 400 marks that is for sure and the one who has got least marks has got 60 marks so we can again conclude that f has got 60 marks so i think we have used point number four point number three point number c uh, one and two we have understood in, in terms of inequality there so if we try and do the arrangement what would happen right b has got greater than c greater than d e has got greater than f Strictly speaking, nothing can be done because B, C and D can take, I mean in that sequence can take any position from 1 to 5, right? It can be B, C, D or it can be B, C here and then D here or it can be B in sec position, second position, C is, uh, in third position and D in fourth position. A lot of possibilities are there. You're able to follow? There are a lot of possibilities. Like for example, even if you look at the second point, all we know is that E has got more than F. But if E has got more than F, does it mean that E will come in position number 5? No. E may come in position number 1 as well. You are able to follow? E can come in position number 1 as well. E has got more than F. So even 1 is, I mean, even 
फर्स्ट पोजिशन इज मोर देन सिक्स पोजिशन और सेकंड पोजिशन ऑल्सो कैन बी टेकन एज मोर देन एट थर्ड पोजिशन फोर्थ और फिफ्थ पोजिशन कैन बी टेकन एज मोर देन एट सो नथिंग इज क्लियर इफ यू लुक एट द डेटा नथिंग इज वेरी क्लियर द ओनली डेफिनेट पॉइंट दैट वी नो इज एफ वुड कम इन पोजिशन नंबर सिक्स ही इज गॉट सिक्सटी मार्क्स द वन हु कम्स इन पोजिशन नंबर वन विल हैव will uh, has scored 400 marks but who comes from 1 to 5 is not known to us and and nothing has been given about a again where would a come we have no no idea you getting it just look at the statement c got more than d but less than b there are number of possibilities i can put b c d in this fashion or we can put b c d here in this fashion or i can say b comes here C comes here, D comes here, or maybe I'll take B in position number one, C in position number three, D in position number five. A lot of possibilities exist. You getting me? So nothing can definitely be said about uh, the arrangement here. Okay, but look at the questions now. When you look at the questions, probably you will get the correct logic, right? So we know that a lot of possibilities are there. Look at the questions. Question number one. It says if A got four hundred marks. Look at this. The point. A got 400 marks. If A gets 400 marks, now if A gets 400 marks, definitely A would be in position number one, because the one who has got 400 marks is in position number one. So that is clear now that A comes in position number one. And each position in the list, each position in the list is second last. If each position is second last, obviously E would come here. The last guy is F. Second last is E. E would come here. And the persons who got the last three positions. in this list their average marks are 95 then what will be the total marks of d and e together now before we proceed with the remaining part of the question understand that only three vacant seats 2 3 4 and there are three persons left out b c d and we know the sequence of b c d in terms of their marks b has got more than c c has got more than d so definitely b c d would take these three positions in this sequence yes or no so it will be a b c d e f basically a to f we have satisfied all the conditions now look at it now look at the remaining part of the question the persons who have got last three positions the persons who have got last three position in the list their average marks are 95 now what are the last three position in the list d e f their average marks are 95 then what will be the total marks of d and e together i think it's a sitter now for d e and f the average is 95 you know that f s scores f s scored 60 so what will be the uh, sum of d and e together is a question so basically it is d plus e plus f f who has got 60 divided by 3 equals to 95 solve this now so what will be the, the total of d and e see d and e d plus e plus 60 will be 95 into 3 95 into 3 is how much 285 285 minus 60 will give you 225 so the sum of d and e will be 225 which is option c here all right so that's about the first one look at the second question now now maybe in the second question based on the data we may have to change the sequence right don't take it for granted that a b c d e f is a sequence a b c d e f is a sequence according to question number 1 which has been solved look at question number 2 now if a got first position so correct a has got first position no problem and d got fourth position yes d has got fourth position no problem in the list a has got first position and d has got fourth position in the list understand the moment you say a has got first position and d has got uh, fourth position everything else will again come in the same order same sequence there is no other possibility why is it so see we know that definitely b is more than c and c is more than d so b and c have to come before d so the only possibility is b comes here and c comes here and then the left or person e comes here so even for question number 2 based on the data given there which says a got first position and d has got fourth position the sequence remains the same a b c d e f starting from 400 ending at 60 now if a the one who got less marks and d okay now if a look at the question now if a the one who has got less marks now less again i think the meaning here is least right now if a the one who has got least marks and d and d got total marks equal to 6 10 then how many marks did d score how many marks did d score so basically is talking about three persons a the one who has got least marks and d they totally 6 10 now you know that a has got 4 400 marks the one who has got least marks is f who has got 60 marks and d so a f and d together have scored 6 10 so basically a plus f plus d equals to 6 10 how much is a 400 what is the value of f 60 So how much will D be? Six ten minus four sixty. Six ten minus four sixty implies D will be one fifty. So option C is the answer.